Peace family, we are Detroit Hills Detroit, and this is our spoken word entitled Healing Through the Violence, a civil rights issue of our generation. The baton, the gun, the pepper spray. I fear my life, but I fear he is on any day. To turn on the TV and to see another black man is dead is to watch a never ending cycle surface through my head. As I watch my little boy grow and get bigger every day, I watch my worries grow and pray that won't be him someday. I pray for a justice system that isn't oh so flawed, one in where the law isn't above them all. Systematic racism, police brutality are both sad truths of our awful reality. We have to build awareness before it happens instead of monuments when these people are gone. We have to use our voices and speak up so they don't just come shooting through our homes. We have to practice the First Amendment and protest what our voice is high. Because if another black man is killed, then another victory dies. The baton, the gun, the pepper spray. I know there has to be another way. As I scroll on the internet and I turn on the news, I read of negativity and tragedies of lives the world may lose. Minorities in particular, African Americans in specifics, with the description of they all look alike, so to me there is no difference. Whether to prove a point or to prove you're tough, as a law abiding citizen, I've personally had enough. Or reading of another person deceased by the hands of a fellow brother, or racial motivate, or hate crime, neither one is more than the other. Black on black crime, racially motivated acts or a crime of any kind is the last thing the world needs during a pandemic time. Let's encourage our brothers and educate our friends, put a stop to the unnecessary and help put crime to an end. The arms we bear take lives with no remorse. They have no brains to know right from wrong and they possess no soul that quakes in the presence of fear. The arms we bear make certain the damage is done doesn't apologize for the pain they've caused and won't explain why they've done what they did. The arms we bear have no hearts to harbor hate, no reason to be violent, and no one to answer to. But the arms we bear have enemies, claim victims, and ruin lives, even though the arms we bear can't do it alone. So why use the arms to cause such pain and to show such hate and be so violent? For the arms will not leave flowers on their graves or hug their families and kiss their kids goodbye. But the arms will always be in their minds, along with the person who used it.